And this is a lecture and analysis on the Scottish poet Jackie Kay's poem, Old Tongue. Um, a very brief biography on the poet Jackie Kay is part of the objectives. I don't often do biographies. Um, her poem is, and she has said this in interviews, it is autobiographical. Um, the theme of the poem, which is very apparent. Um, I've given you also some vocabulary that may assist you in reading the poem. And then just to look at technical aspects and analysis together. So um, this is a photo of Jackie Kay. She was born in Edinburgh and Scotland in 1961. She was born to a Scottish mother and a Nigerian father. She was adopted by a white couple at birth and was brought up in the city of Glasgow. She relocated to England at a fairly young age. And this is what this poem is, is addressing, is that move from Scotland, from Glasgow to England. Um, much of her writing deals with her grappling with identity. Um, this one is about the identity of um, vernacular slang, accent, that kind of thing. Uh, the theme of the poem is that it um, just considers that that loss of vernacular, that, that loss of the Scottish slang, the Scottish tongue, the Scottish accent, um, having left it as a child and relocating to England. The older we get, the harder it is to actually lose an accent. So, um, but at children, lose them very quickly. And then I've just given you um, a map of uh, Scotland and England, Ireland. So I'm sure you know where they all are. Um, here is, um, there are two slides that just refer to um, vocabulary that is in the poem that may help you. Um, and of course, you know, you can pause to read this as well. So um, the poem, and please listen to Jackie Kay read it. Um, she's just, just such a beautiful reading voice, I think. And she's talking um, in this poem about being eight years old and having to re relocate from Scotland to England um, as a child. <clears throat> Notice um, I'm underlining those S sounds that that are in that first line, uh, was, was forced south. Um, and so I'm, I'm just showing you those right away. There is that rhyme with south and mouth, that second line, all, all those ends, not long wind opened, that rhyme with opened and happened. Um, I'm looking at those, um, the end sounds, um, again, and strange thing happened. I S is again, lost Scottish accent. She plays with both of those S and T's, lost Scottish accent. Um, so I'm just like pointing those out. Uh, also, I wanted to look at in that second stanza, my own vowels started to stretch like my bones. And here again, we have a simile, and I, I actually think it's stunning. Um, that those first two lines in this second stanza are um, so beautiful. My own vowels started to stretch like my bones and I turned my back on Scotland. So it's just so beautifully written um, and also um, so incredibly sad because that turning her back on Scotland is just happening. She's just naturally losing her accent. And um, also, I love that. Did you ever feel sad when you lost a word? Did you ever try and call it back? Like calling in the sea? Like just that impossibility that she can't, she can't do it. And then that beautiful ending in that second stanza, I swear I would have taken them in, swallowed them whole knocked them back. Just that wonderful idea of uh, swallowing our words, taking them back into our mouth, or um, like knocking them back like a, a shot of liquor, like keeping them 
Um, so I just absolutely love this poem so much. In um, her last stanza, again, um, out in the English soil, my old words buried themselves. Just this, this wonderful image of like these words burying themselves. Um, and then in this stanza, she has so many M's made my mother's mouth, them, my, my, my. And she has this wonderful repetition of I wanted, I wanted, and I wanted. And of course, the doer, sewer, um, you know, that, that repetition in her lines, I wanted them back. I wanted my old accent back my old tongue and like she she keeps repeating it so um i think that she just makes this loss of an accent so tangible so um real as if um i think we tend to think of sound as uh not a concrete thing and she really makes words, the sound of language, the sound of how we speak, really concrete and very tangible, like a thing, an object that can be lost, which I think is uh, one of the most kind of wonderful things to do and, and so difficult. Um, I'm closing with uh, an image again of Jackie Kay. Um, it's a short poem. It's, um, I think, of course, obviously, just incredibly magical and wonderful. And I absolutely love the way she's, she reads. Um, this is quite an old poem of hers. We will be looking at a newer piece that she's actually written um, during uh, the COVID lockdown about her mother. But it's upcoming. Um, just an absolute wonderful poet. And um, the tempo in this, I think, is so interesting. And I want it to just before I close, of course, I want to talk about tempo because that's about your next assignment. But I wanted you to think about accent and slang and vernacular as um, how does that build in tempo? And if you think that in general, Canadians actually speak quite slowly, and what does that do to your poetry if you're Canadian? Um, you know, and Western Canadians apparently speak slower than Eastern Canadians. So again, what, what does that mean to your tempo, to the actual rhythm of how you speak? And do you see that appearing in your own work? So um, I'm going to close there and thanks very much.